Hello everybody, uh, this is Charles Harper of GainMindShare.com and what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to create a quiz within YouTube and uh, uh, I'm going to be looking off to this side because that's where my second screen is um, however that's going to be the screen that you're actually looking at while I'm doing this so you, you're seeing me down to the right but and I'm looking off this way and that's really because the screen you're looking at is over here to me so that's just why this might look a little disorienting to you so having said that let's take a look at YouTube and we're gonna go into YouTube right here and uh, okay so we're inside of YouTube and what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to go inside of my channel here. Let's move a little slow here right now. Okay, and then I'm going to go inside the video manager. Now, when you uh, when you open up your video manager, one of the things that uh, you want to do is uh, you want to uh, maybe select one of your videos and I'm going to select I'm going to actually select uh, this video and once I select this video I'm going to stop it so that we can uh, we can then do some work on it. Okay, so what I want you to do now is scroll all the way to the bottom of your screen in YouTube. And then I want you to go all the way down past where it says creators and partners to try something new. I think the video is trying to start up there, but we will go to this page. Okay, when you get to this page, it's called Test Tube, and this is where you you see all of the things that YouTube is experimenting with. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Video Questions Editor and click Try It Out. And then once we uh, click Try It Out, then we're going to go to the Join the Video Questions Editor Beta. and then it's gonna say we are part of the experiment so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our videos here and once we get to our videos I'm gonna go back inside of the one that we were looking at before actually we're gonna edit it I'm gonna edit that video and when we get to the editing screen, you're going to notice a couple of things across the top. You're going to notice info and settings, right? That's all of this stuff. Enhancements, where you can uh, add things like, uh, uh, you know, transitions in your screens and uh, different ways of transitioning between screens. Uh, you're going to be able to add music in the audio section, you know, to, a, to an already existing video. Annotations, which if you don't, if you don't have an idea of what to do with annotations this is something that you really want to get to learn uh, if you want to uh, really get good call to action on your videos the captions area which you should be getting to know even if if uh, you don't do anything other than to upload your own caption to this uh, to this area and one of the things that you'll find is that uh, this will uh, this will help you with your SEO and the ranking of your videos but what we uh, want to talk about here are the video questions so let's meet let's click that video question section there and what's gonna happen is you're gonna come into an editing screen now if you've ever done annotations with uh, you know with YouTube you probably recognize uh, an editing screen and so you'll see here that you've got the video okay this is an eight minute long video and this is basically a timeline what we're gonna do is we're gonna click add a question and we add that question what we're gonna do is we're gonna say um, do you 
by your uh, most of most of your goods and services local. Okay, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to make the answer, I'm going to say no, but then I'm going to make the answer yes, and I'm going to give a hint, and then I'm going to say if, if, they, if, they get, if they click no, then it's going to give them the hint. And so what we want to do is, is we want to say um, watch the rest. click yes to continue now probably the most important part in this is where this is going to appear on the timeline right so what we're going to do is we're going to say it's going to appear at the going to appear at the one minute and one second mark right and then we're going to click changes now if we wanted to add a third answer we could do that yes no we could add a maybe here Right. Whenever they click the yes or a no, it's going to add. It's going to. It's going to. It's going to ask them for the hint, and then you're going to tell them what to click in that hint in order for the video to continue. What's going to happen is the video is going to stop at one minute and one second. Right. So basically, what you're going to have is you're going to have a quizzing function that won't allow the video to continue unless. Uh, the, uh, the the viewer decides to click something, right? So it's really neat, you know, if you're doing a lesson, it's really neat if you're doing, uh, if, you're, if you're trying to interact with your customer or your prospect, um, it's really neat if you're, if you're really trying to be engaging in your video content, this will help you uh, to be able to do that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to save these changes. Okay, so now what we have done is we've added a video question now to uh, to our video. So now what what should happen is at one minute and one second, this video should stop action. So let's advance the video some, right? I don't want to. Okay, we're going to advance the video to 55 seconds, right? Let's see, no, it's advanced to 103. Okay, so we'll advance to 38 seconds. It's still advancing to 103. Let's, uh, okay, what we'll do is we'll just refresh it so it'll come back. I don't know why it's advancing all the way to a minute, three seconds. But, uh, okay, so we've set this at one minute and one second. So now when we come back, what we'll do is we'll just watch it from the beginning if it won't advance all the way there. Okay, so I'm going to advance it a little bit so it'll speed up some. Okay, so now if you look here, you'll see now that the video has stopped at one minute and one second. And it says, you buy most of your good, do you buy most of your good and services local? Now, naturally, I'd want to change the color of that, but what has happened now is the video has stopped. And it's not going to go until I click something to keep it going. So if I, let's say that as the, uh, the, the viewer, I click no. Then I get a hint. It says, watch the rest, click yes to continue. Right? So you want to tell them what to do in order for them to continue. So you can put as many of these quizzes in your video as you want in order to help you to accomplish your purpose. Right? So, so uh, while the, uh, the, the feature is in beta, I would go ahead and use some of these in your video because uh, this will increase your engagement. It will increase uh, watch time which is very important to YouTube now. It's one of the ranking factors. 
and uh, what it's also going to do is it's also going to give you an opportunity to uh, to 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 see what it is that your um, you know your 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 uh, your your viewers are doing. Okay, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna just kind of go ahead here, and uh, I'm going to uh, for the most part. That is pretty much all that we need to do. Um, so again, add as many questions as you want. Go through the same process. I'm going to now click yes to continue. And the video is going to keep going. And the quiz goes away. So yeah, go ahead and play with these. Uh, put it, you know, put a quiz in there and see how it works for you. And uh, do me a favor, uh, go over to uh, this video. Uh, then uh, just let me know in the comment section if this is helpful to you. Okay, so thank you very much. Have a great day and a pleasant tomorrow. Take care.